A good afternoon, Northwood. This is going to be a brief overview of how to record a lesson using Google Meet. So let's get started. First thing is you will navigate to meet.google.com. Remember, you can pause this video if you need to um, on a certain screen, if you need to refer back to anything that I say. So <clears throat> just so you know. So you're going to hit join or start a meeting and give it a name. So Limer teacher, I'll spell right, class. Hit continue. Now, so hey, here we are. So there's a few things. Um, for, uh, first, you're going to hit join now. Now, you when you are recording yourself um, giving a lesson, you you will be the only one in this Google Meet. So you can actually hit X to cancel that. So you'll see yourself full screen. When you are ready to go, this is very important. Down here are these three dots, your settings. You want to record this meeting. So how this works is you, this video will shrink in size over here. And then the Google slide you will be presenting will show up here in a larger box. So let me show you how we're going to do that now. So remember, once you're ready to record, you will hit record meeting. Ask for consent. You're the only one in this. Hit accept. Recording will start soon. Once you see that, now you are recording. You can give an intro to your class. Good morning. Good afternoon, class. Um, today we'll be we will be learning addition facts. Then you will hit present now. It's always a good thing to have your Google slide open up here. So the Google slide is open. So I'm back in this window. You'll still be recording. You'll hit present now. And you can hit your entire screen. Select this by clicking on it, this area. You'll see the blue outline. Then you'll hit share. Now your screen will be recording at this point. And what you will do is hit first grade math problems. And then you will hit present. And you can go through your slide, whatever you need to teach. You can show a video, any of the tabs on your computer you can use and show the video. When you work done with this, you can hit escape. Get out of this. Exit full screen. Go back to your meet, hit stop presenting. And now you're uh, the main person, main view is back on you. Um, now what happens is I am gonna hit stop recording. And sorry, that's Miss Dugan calling me. I'm gonna hit stop recording. It says this recording will be saved to Google Drive. So what happens, <clears throat> it takes a while for this to process. It may take, if you have a half hour lesson, it could take up to a half hour, maybe longer to process the video. As long as you hit stop recording and get that message, just know that it is processing. And the reason you will know that, or how you'll know that, is that you will get an email when the video says that it has been sent to your Google Drive. That will show up in your Google Drive in Meet Recordings folder. So here are some that I've already done. Now, don't get nervous if after you select one of these, they don't play right away. They will show up in your drive before they are finished processing just so you know that. So this is what it looks like. I did one earlier just as a test. 
Um, oh, hold on, let me go back. That's not the one I want. So the video will show like this to your students. And you can see that once I hit present, that's how it will look for you. So your screen will be here and the main view will be here. And when you hit present full screen, that's how that Google slide comes up for you. I know this is a lot of information. I realize that. Hit pause if you need to. We can always come back and um, work on this again. I can go through this. I can help individual people. Um, one last thing I'll say, and again, you can hit pause on this video, is that once the video is completed, these are other tests that I've done. I don't remember. If you right click, you can hit rename. So I can name this Limer, I'll spell it right, test video. You hit OK. Then if you right click again, go to the share feature, you'll hit get shareable link. You want to change this. to anyone with the link can view. Hit save, and there's your link. Hit copy link. So now, if you are in, let's say you're um, filling out your lesson plans and you have a Google Doc going. So you can type here, Limer, I can't spell my name, Limer test video highlight this text, click this little paper clip, insert link, right click, hit paste, hit apply. So I've just linked that video to this text. So if this is your lesson plan sheet, this linked video will show when students, parents, anyone, family members click on that link. Again, it's a lot of information. Pause the video. If you have any questions, write them down as the video is going on. And I will um, have a way for you to reach out to me if you need help. Thanks, guys.